With the help of this video, you will be able to configure SharePoint connector and attach two Dynamics. Follow the steps as shown. Navigate to Attach to Dynamics app, click on Connectors, and then on New. Fill in the details as shown. After entering the name, select SharePoint and the connector type. Check on the default checkbox if you want to set this as your default connector. Select the SharePoint site and then click on App in the authentication type. Now, to create an app, go to portal.azure.com in a new tab. Using the search bar, go to App Registration, and then click on New Registration, enter the name of the app and scroll down. Here, you will have to enter the redirect URL. For that, go back to your Dynamic CRM Connectors page and hop on to the Credential section. Here, on the right side of the CRM, you will find the redirect URL. Copy the same on your clipboard. Then go back to your Azure App Registration page and paste the copied redirect URL and click on Register. Your app will be created. Now, we have to give permissions to the app that we created. For that, go to API Permissions. Here, click on Add a Permission and then select Dynamic CRM and then check the User Impersonation and click on Add Permission button below. Similarly, click on Add a Permission again and this time, select SharePoint. You will be asked what type of permissions does your application require? Of the two options, click on Application Permissions, scroll down and check the first option called Sites.FullControl.All, and then click on the Add Permission button. Then grant admin consent by clicking on the same and then on yes to finish giving permissions to your application. You will get the status as granted right after this. Now, you need to generate a key, and to do that, go to Certificates and Secrets. In the Client Secrets section, click on New Client Secret, set the expiry date as never, and name it as key. Your key will be generated after clicking on the Add button. Copy this key value and make sure to paste it into your notepad. You also need the application or client ID and to get that, go to Overview. Copy the application ID and save it in your notepad. Now, go back to your CRM environment and click on the credentials. Here, paste the saved application ID as ID and key as the password. Proceed further by clicking on Save button. Then click on the Authenticate button, check on Consent on behalf of your organization and click on the Accept button. A thank you message will notify you of successful authentication. The status will change to authenticated and your connector will now be ready to use. Thank you.